What's good, what's good, y'all? I'm back again, King Koss. What's up, the chefs in the hood? I'm here for Eat For Life movement. What we're gonna do today, we got a special treat for y'all. We're gonna do butternut squash pie. That's right, that's a family recipe. I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. I can't give you the full secret. So I'm gonna show you how we do it, all right? Butternut squash, what we're gonna do first is put all the dry stuff first. So this here is the sugar. This is sugar in a raw. The old recipe calls for white sugar, but we're trying to get away from all of that. We're trying to do it as healthy as possible. So we're going with the raw cane sugar right here. So we're gonna put that in here for right now. Start with that. Dry stuff. Okay, here. The old recipe calls for cornstarch, but we're using arrowroot powder. If anyone knows about arrowroot powder, it's medicinal. All right, this is something that the Native Americans used and just indigenous people use this for medicine. So this is also good as a form of starch, but it's good for your body, unlike the other starches, all right? So I put that in here, and it also has nutmeg, and you know, that has nutritional value as well. So everything here is pretty much nutritional, all right? One more thing, this is not gonna be vegan. We're gonna do that. At another time, this is gonna be basically close to the traditional recipe that my mom's made, Sister Evelyn, peace be upon her. This is her recipe. So we're just tweaking it a little bit to make it a little more healthier, all right? And uh, like I said, we'll get back to you with the uh, the vegan version of it, all right? So we're gonna do this right now. We're gonna mix this up and uh, see what we do. And then I'm gonna add the butter after I mix all the dry stuff together. You wanna to make sure you mix it well together, all right? You may even have to use a spoon to get in there and scrape the sides or whatever. That's what this is for. He got one knife, I got one spoon, all right? One spoon, one spoon. All right, let's see how this is looking. Let's see, let's see. All right, can you get close up and show something real quick? See, when you're making mixes like this, you gotta make sure that the sides, you scrape the sides so that everything mixes well together. See how some of that is not mixed well? So you gotta do that, get in there and just mix it, mix it well. See, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna mix it a few more seconds and I'm gonna add the butter and then we're gonna let that mix for a little while. All right. Now, one thing about the butternut squash, if you didn't know, is very nutritional. It helps with digestion of uh, food, you know what I'm saying? It's very uh, high in potassium. We're gonna add the butter now. It's high in potassium, it's high in iron, um, folate. It's got a lot of good stuff. Vitamin C, um, zinc, copper, manganese, magnesium. It's got a lot of good stuff for you. So if you're gonna eat, pastries or sweet stuff. Our whole thing with Eat for Life in Chefs in the Hood as well is to do it in the most healthy way possible. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, we're gonna let the, the butter mix with the dry stuff. That's a little technique that my mom showed me. So we're gonna let that mix all together and get a nice, smooth consistency. Now I'm showing y'all some of the secrets, all right? I'm letting y'all in on some of the secrets. I'm not giving you the exact measurements, but I'm letting you in on some of the secrets, all right? So, I can, I want them to see how this is looking real, real quick. See how that starts to mix up right there? See the butter in there? And another little thing, little tidbit, if you're gonna use butter, make sure the butter is um, pretty cool. It's like a solid consistency. You don't want it to be too soft or, or liquidy. Definitely wanted to have the consistency of, of butter. You know, I like to have it in, in the refrigerator, refrigerated, so it just mixes better, and it makes for a better mix when none of the ingredients separate. That's another secret right there. All right? I'm gonna have to start charging y'all for that now. So family secret stuff here. All right? All right yeah, that's mixing up pretty good. So. 
another thing about the butternut it's naturally sweet so when you're making these pies you don't have to add as much sugar because it has natural sugar itself all right see this is here i want you to see how this is mixing up right here that's looking real good right there you see that see how the mixture is starting to come together and then it's getting pushed to the side that's what you want to see all right you want to see it mixing like that so this is where i stop it and then i'll use the spoon to push it down so that it could mix all together and then get all this extra stuff on the side right here all right so boom go on the side mixing that in looks like it's mixing up real good man see that let the people see that real quick Try to get all the excess butter and stuff that's picked up here. All right. You have to do this maybe a few times as you go. You know, that's normally how that goes. So we're going to do that again. We're going to put the mixer back on. And then we're going to let it mix for a little while. And then we're going to come back and we're going to put the eggs in. All right. All right, cool. Now the next phase is to add the eggs. And um, always wash your eggs. That's part of safe preparation, all right? Wash your hands. Wash the outside of the eggs. Now these eggs are eggs without any hormones, just FYI, all right? So we try to, like I said, we try to eat as healthy as possible. You know, this is, again, not a vegan, a vegan recipe. This is the vegetarian one, so to speak. So there you go. All right, so this is a great mix, man. This is how you want it to look. You see that? So you had the, all, all the stuff in there is mixed and mixing at a great consistency. So now we're gonna add the eggs so the butter is in there you see how it all mixed up real nice so we're gonna add the eggs now all right now we're gonna add the whole egg for this here because again this is not the, uh, the vegan recipe so we're gonna do the whole egg this one and we're just gonna do uh put three eggs for for this right here we're not making a lot this should make about one large uh like eight inch or nine inch pie Probably, maybe, you might be able to stretch two out of it. We gotta see how, how it goes. All right, so cool, you see, you just put the egg in there and um, we're gonna let it mix for a little while. And then we're gonna come back and then we're gonna add the butternut. The best part, the butternut, yeah. Yeah. I wanna show y'all how this is mixing up. We showed you how the egg went inside, but now look how it's starting to look when you mix it together. See it starting to form a nice uniform consistency. You can see it's still separated, kind of sort of, but as it keeps mixing, it's gonna start mixing well, <laughs> coming together, coagulating. Is that that's a word, right? Coagulating. You like that? Alright, that's a new word. Okay, that's the E Life word of the day. Coagulating. <laughs> coagulating. Nah. Anyway. All right, this is looking good, man. This is looking good. We're gonna let it keep mixing. And again, you gotta have your one spoon, your one spoon, right? Because what's gonna happen is some of the mix underneath is not gonna get mixed up in it. So this is where this comes in and you gotta manually do it and then start it back up. So that's what I'm about to do right now, all right? So boom, turn it off. Oh. This on the side off of there because we want everything to mix right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. See, I actually mixed up pretty good. I don't see too much of anything under there. Oh, that's good, man. Shoot, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, all right, cool. All right, so we're gonna let the rest of this mix and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna add the butternut, the milk and another ingredient I'm gonna let y'all know about. All right, gives it a nice flavor. This is the part that calls for what the pie is, butternut squash. Here we go. It done mixed up well, as you can see. So boom, that's what we wanna see. Nice, beautiful consistency. So we're gonna add the butternut. Now I'm gonna add a little more than normal just because I had a little cool definitely don't want to put it hot so that's something that I, I I'm glad that that happened so I, just so let you y'all know you don't put any hot anything when you make a pie all right it should at least be room temperature 
right? I don't know, there's such a good vegetable, man. It's like so good, and, and it's a little different from um, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes actually a little hard on your digestion because of the type of root that it is. Where butternut is really like a vegetable, not a root. So you see how that's mixing up? Let me get a close shot real quick. That's looking real nice, you see that? And we're gonna follow the same process. We're gonna do the one spoon thing, you know, and then we're gonna add one of the final components or two of the final components. All right, stop it. And we're gonna make sure that everything's mixed right, okay? So we're gonna do the side thing again. Just go along the sides, scrape the sides up, make sure everything is mixed together. As you can see, it's looking mixed, right? And definitely wanna get the bottom because sometimes you'll have some chunks or caked up uh, ingredients there because of the, you know, all the dry stuff with the butter. It all has to mix together fluidly, you know, one consistent, uniform mixture. So this is why you have to do this over and over. You know, this, this ensures that the pie comes out with a nice, smooth consistency, all right? All right, so do that real quick, and then I'm going to add the milk, and then I'm going to add one more thing. Vanilla extract. Now we use the 100% vanilla extract. We don't use the imitation one that has like alcohol and some other stuff. I want to use the actual vanilla extract. A little more expensive, but it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? It's your body, right? Give yourself the best. All right. So we're gonna add the milk, and you know, again, this is not vegan. You know, this is milk. We're gonna do that another time. But speaking of that, I got it. Man, this inspires me to come up with a joke of the day. All right, I got one for y'all. What do you call a fascist vegan? Think about that one for a second as I pour this in here. Think about a fascist vegan. What do you call a fascist vegan? Hmm. Yes, sir. We're going to let that mix. And while that mixes, I'm going to add the vanilla extract. Do about maybe about a about a tablespoon of this one here. I'll give you all that little secret. About that. That gives it a nice flavor mixing with all the other flavors. After it mixes for about another minute or so, it's going to be ready to be poured in the crust to go in the oven so we can get busy on some good stuff. Now, I gave you all enough time to think about that joke. Alright? So, as we finish this up, I'm going to tell you what, what the answer to that is. What do you call a fascist vegan? Hmm. Lactose intolerant. Ha! Ah, like that. I know. Don't laugh too hard. There you go. This is the final mix. Look how that looks. See? You don't see anything caking up, right? No caking up. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Creamy consistency. That's how you want it to look. Next step, pour it into the crust, and then the oven is going to go. All right, now check this out. I got something special for y'all, another added addition to the butternut. We got the bean pie. I already pretty much did everything else already, so we're just going to cut to putting the beans in. But I want to say something as I'm adding the bean about the bean. Something special about the navy bean in particular. It has a lot of nutritional value to it. It has a lot of iron, it's high in protein, folate, folate, it's a great fiber as well. This bean actually, if you had nothing else to eat, you could actually live off of the navy bean. So pretty much all the ingredients are similar to the butternut, we just added the bean. Excuse me while I take a sip of my spring water right here. A little more thicker consistency than the butternut because of the bean is more heavier. So, and of course, I can't forget, this was inspired by our good brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? Of the NOI, who are the originators of the Navy Bean. So I got to give props to them for that. You know, I kind of, you know, well, I say the family recipe is based off of the original recipe with 
our own little tweaks. And uh, if anyone remembers, I don't know, anyone out there, the 80s, 90s to the 2000s, Alpha Baking Company, that was us, that was our fan. So yeah, we were the number one bean pot makers on the East Coast, Midwest, so on and so forth. So this is that recipe right here. It's that winning recipe right here. All right, so this is it right here, y'all. Let me just show you how it all came out. Again, I'm gonna go real quick on the side. See, seems like everything's mixed pretty good, man. On the bottom, again. I don't see no chunks coming up or anything like that. See, a little more thicker because of the beans. But that's pretty much it. All right, back again. Here we go. This is the final part. It's the butternut squash, the bean. We're gonna get one of each. We're gonna put them in the oven so we can bake. All right, let's bring this over here. This is how I like to see the consistency. I had to make sure, by the way, uh, I didn't make the crust, I had to buy them, but I had to make sure that they had a U or a K because sometimes they put lard in it and if it doesn't have a U, K, or a D, which is kosher, by the way, if you didn't know that, that means something in there might possibly possibly have some pork byproducts, all right? So that's a little tidbit of information for those of y'all that didn't know. That's just how you know that it's uh, free of any pork products or any, uh, what they consider to be forbidden food or whatever. All right, this is the bean right here. Yeah, looks like about right. Man, we're gonna put that in the oven and see what it do, all right? And I preheated the oven, just so you know. Um, it all depends on what kind of oven you have, how strong your oven is, how hot it gets, you know, so you have to adjust the temperature according to you. So what you're using, all right? You can tweak it to your own taste. You may not like cinnamon or a little bit of it, not a lot. So, you know, as with anything, you tweak it to your own, your own liking, basically, all right? So that's it, pretty much. We're gonna put it in there for roughly about an hour or so. Look at the crust to see how the crust is looking. And I'll, I'll show you to give you an idea of what it looks like. If you wanna rotate it, you know what I'm saying? You may wanna rotate it, turn it around, or maybe take it from the bottom and put it on the top, just so that it bakes evenly. These are some of the little trade secrets of a baker, all right? And I learned that from my mom's sister Evelyn, Alpha B. It is the moment of truth. We're about to taste it. Came out the oven, it's gonna cool down already. Let's get in. Oh yeah, this is ready. Uh-huh. See how it's holding the consistency on the inside? You see that? Almost like flan, if y'all know what flan is. It has that texture. That's the texture you're looking for. That's what you want. All right, that's the butternut. All right? All right, bean next. We did the butternut, now it's time for the bean, baby. Bean pie, bean pie, my brother. Yeah, this is the texture. This is the right texture as well. Yes, yes. See the insides? Yeah, that's what you want. The same texture look, just like that. Bean pie, butternut squash pie. How we doing it? Time to taste. Oh yeah, nice texture. Let's see. Mm. That's it. Let's try the butternut. Still kind of warm too. Let's see what this tastes like. 
Sorry about that, y'all. It's just that good. Well, there it is. It's another one for y'all. Eat for Life movement. Chefs in the hood. That's it, y'all. Oh, wait. Before I go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and even share if you like. All right? Shout out to Pay Homage Media Works. And check us out on IG, Chefs in the Hood. Eat for Life Movement on IG. Also, Eat for Life Movement Facebook. All right?